Hey, welcome back. Uh, this video, I'm going to go over how to get a bass into its case. This is something that a lot of folks have a little bit of trouble with in the beginning until someone shows them how to do it. So I've got uh, my bag out here and I've got my instrument and I'm going to go ahead and put it in the case for you and show you a couple of tricks. Now, when you're first starting out, several of you are probably not quite six foot two. Um, so when you stand next to your instrument, you probably have the end pin all the way down in and you're looking up at the top of it. So when I put my instrument in the case, you know, normally I'll put the end pin all the way down and then, you know, I'm a little bit taller than my instrument to tell you the truth, which makes it, which makes it a little easier for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the instrument at its full height, playing height, so I can show you the trick to being able to get the case up and over the top of the instrument if you know this is how tall you are in relation to your instrument. I want to say that as a general practice you should always put the end pin in first before you start packing up your instrument. I'm leaving it out only so that I can show you the trick for getting the case up over the instrument if you are not as tall as your instrument, which those of you who are students and just starting out probably are not. So I've got my case right here, and you know what? I'm going to set it back down because there's something I missed. The first thing you do is you need to take your bow. Make sure it's loosened. Always loosen your bow when you're putting it away. I'm going to loosen my bow, and I'm just going to set it to the side out of the way right now. So I'm just going to find a place where it's safe to set it out of the way while I put the case on. Um, the bow always goes in last and comes out first, and I'll get back to that a little bit later on. Now, there are a few different types of cases. Mine is the most common type, which has the zipper along the side. Now, my zipper comes up pretty high, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and zip it down about yay much, which puts it, I think, at about the amount of space that most average size student cases give you. So I'm going to keep my zipper right here just to mimic what most student cases do. And so this is a side zippered case and that's the most common ones that you see. First thing I want you to know is that there is a front and a back to the case. You want to make sure you don't put it on backwards. The front of the case is going to have some extra fabric in it. So if I turn the case sideways you can see that this side of the case curves out and that's to go over the bridge, and the back of the case is flat. Now some of them have backpack straps, uh, some of them don't, but the back of the case is flat, the front of the case is curved, the pocket to keep your music and stuff in is always on the back, the long pocket to keep your bow in, right here, and a lot of times there's a pocket for rosin and rock stops and stuff like that, that stuff is on the front. So you wanna make sure you know the front from the back of the case. So once you've established, I have the front of my case, I have the back of my case, you're going to turn, you're going to take your instrument between your knees like this. So you can hold it with no hands and you have your hands free to manipulate the case. Making sure the front of the case, the front of the instrument, the open side towards you. All right, so sometimes you may need to spin the instrument around or, or something else, but I've got the front of the case the front of the instrument, the open side of the case towards me. I'm grabbing hold of the base with my knee so I have both hands free. I'm going to kind of put the case around the instrument here and now I can lift the case up with both hands. I can get it up over my head. I'm kind of running into the ceiling because I've got the base all the way up, but you can see I can easily get the case from here all the way up over my head and over the top of the instrument. Once you get it to here, you can reach in, you can hold on to the instrument. You're gonna take the case, wrap it around, zip it down, and you're gonna be zipping the case. Most cases have two zippers and don't have a hole for the end pin. So I'm gonna zip it down here until it hits the end pin. I can take a knee. I don't really have to lay the instrument down. I can just take a knee and zip it down. I can spin it around, take the zipper on the other side, zip it to either side of the end pin. I'm gonna lay the instrument down here. And I don't have a cameraman today, so hopefully 
you can just see this with the with the video frame the way it is. So I've got the zipper to each side of the end pin. I'll go ahead put the end pin down at this point, although really that should always be done first. I just left it out for demonstration purposes so you could see how to get the case over the top of the instrument if the instrument is taller than you. Now, I can take my bow, tip down, frog up, and put the bow into the pocket provided by the case. When you go to unpack, you just do this all in reverse. But remember, you must take the bow out first. Because just imagine this. If I've got the bow in the bow pocket, I go down, I unzip my case. Here, go ahead. Unzip on this side. Come on down, unzip the other side. And now I'm going to start taking this case off. Well, the case is very flexible. If I lift this thing up and I bend the case around with the bow in there, you could accidentally snap your bow in half. So you always are going to take the bow out first. Set it to the side someplace safe. Grab the instrument in here with your knees. Here, I'll get down this way. So again, I'm doing it over my head. And get it unwrapped. Lift the case up over the top. And there you go. So if you found this helpful, uh, please remember to uh, like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. If there's anything else you're wondering about, you're getting started playing the bass and you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a request in the comments area and uh, maybe I can get around to getting a video done for you on a topic you have questions about. Thank you very much.